YouTube, what's up, y'all? We still in. Now we in. Uh, I think this. No, okay. Last video is my when I got my haircut. This video is me still cutting in the same shop in Atlanta. I remember I told y'all I wanted to move to Atlanta, so let me know if you guys would be interested in that. Wave Kit Kat moving to Georgia, and I know some of y'all were saying uh, it's like oversaturated. Why not stay in the area where barbers are needed, bruh? I gotta think about it like this i'm a content creator and there's so many other content creators in georgia that i can connect with that i'm already cool with and we can just always make content together so it won't i wouldn't be moving out there necessarily for the clientele or to specifically cut hair it'd mainly just be content bro it'd just be content because i know i'm doing content for two different um i, I don't want to say industries but like two different niches like i do I cut hair and I do car content as well so it'd be dope to link up with a lot of content creators in both worlds and it it just grow my brand way faster collaborating with other creators you know what I'm saying so if you think about it like that you kind of can't even say uh you can you should move out here it's oversaturated because honestly I would just be collabing with everybody that's already out there you know what I'm saying I'll just be getting contact with everybody so that would be that would be tough that would be hard that's that's the, that's how i think about it i don't think about it as oh i'm gonna go there and charge a whole bunch more for haircuts just because nah I'm, that's not really why i'm going there like i can charge more for haircuts obviously just because it's a higher income area but that's not the main reason why i'm going it'll be mainly just to get that content so let me know what y'all think man georgia y'all think it's a good move let me know either way i'm still thinking about doing it a year from now so hopefully by next summer man let me know by next summer i should be doing it so we'll see what happens bro but anyways we're doing this haircut and a little backstory on this client this is actually the other barber's client in the shop now he walked in he wasn't he didn't know that he was coming today the barber didn't know he was coming today so i was just like yo bro you want to get a haircut like i'll cut you he didn't know who i was you know what i'm saying i could have been a trash barber and he just took the you know what i'm saying he just trusted me and he was like okay cool let's do it so I, he let me cut his hair and this cut honestly came out pretty fire okay i knew it was gonna be a good canvas anyway but right now we're just doing a mid taper and i'm just doing my lever open one open and then i'm going to slowly debulk and work my way down from there If you have made it this far and you still have not subscribed go ahead and hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you guys can be alerted when my new videos drop okay i'm trying to drop consistent content for you guys um on a consistent basis because you know what i'm saying for as far as i know y'all like the content so i'm gonna just keep dropping for you guys so you guys have something to watch um also if you guys are looking forward to making your own content and going viral on your own platforms and also reaping the benef the benefits of being a content creator hit that link below the first link in my description of this video click the title of this video and hit that first link and it'll take you to where i can teach you how to make viral content on a consistent basis if you guys are interested in that make sure you hit that link um the first link when you click the title of this video
not working on the back taper this back taper is not easy okay it grows in multiple different ways so i'm just going to try my best to ignore that and do my guidelines and fade my guidelines out once you guys develop a fading system keep doing that fading system no matter how hard the hair may be to fade because it's just easier to stick to what you know versus trying to adjust to everybody's head shape it, it, it'll take a it'll make the process way longer um it's easier to just do your steps and then detail afterwards versus trying to change up your steps and finish the fade and fix the fade as you go it'll take way longer so develop that fading system run through all your steps real quick and get it to good get it to look good as possible and then do some detail work afterwards if it still doesn't look how it's supposed to Now it's time for the most satisfying satisfying parts. I'm using my cocoa trimmers and I'm just gonna put all these lineups in for each side. And you you guys will see this cut actually came out real crispy. I did use slight enhancements. Um not too much enhancement, it didn't look too fake. So I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys will appreciate that. But this is the most therapeutic part, so sit back, relax, and enjoy this lineup.
right here is something I usually never do. I'm going to use this flex foam from the Barber Engineer. Um, I, I, I have my link, well, the link in the description as well where you can buy this. It's the same business that makes the um, the flow enhancements. So he gave me this and told me to use it, um, to try it out. So I'm just going to use this, put it all on the forehead and use a hot towel and let the hot towel dry and just leave it on there until it cools down. Then you just wipe it off, blow dry it with cool air, spray hairspray on top, blow dry, blow dry that with cool air, and then you should be getting a super crispy lineup. As soon as your trimmers hit that skin, make sure your trimmers are adjusted correctly and you'll be all set.
now to finish off any haircut that you guys are doing uh, any type of low cut or wave cut definitely make sure you do a freehand trim this would just give the haircut an overall cleaner look so the haircut just looks finished a lot of people don't do this part and the haircut doesn't look finished it could be crispy as whatever you want it to be the lineup the tape break all of that be fresh but if there's a lot of hair sticking up on top of the haircut it just won't look finished as this will so make sure you guys do your freehand trim and just make sure you take your time and be careful so you don't scalp your client Bye.